Yo, what up, man? Chris, I'm about to check it back in, man. Back with the vlog, man. Make sure that like button and subscribe on your way, man. I appreciate all the support, man. And I said it from the very beginning that um, my, my, my nigga Swamp won just making it here. So I'm going to make sure he don't go home broke because that's, that's how I am. He never said he was going to split the money, so I don't want to jump out the window with that. But he did make it sound like he was going to get something. And it wasn't just going to be like $100 or something. Like he was going to really make sure he took care of him to some degree. So I was thinking he would probably get anywhere from five grand to probably 20 grand. That's what I was thinking he was getting. You know what I'm saying? Especially when Gerald McCoy dropped that duffel bag off with 20,000 racks in there. I thought, shoot, this is a quick way you can slide a nigga five grand right now. Walk out of that joint with 15 and keep it moving. I never thought I'd make it that far in the tournament for two. And then, like, to get to the finals, I'm still like, shit, nigga. You did way more than what the fuck they expected. So, like, I'm cool with it. So, you and JC good guy, he broke, he broke you up, y'all. Y'all niggas, he know. What you mean, no, man? I don't get no money from JC. JC gave you. I'm tired of hearing that. Come on, fuckers, be like, yo, how much JC gave you? Me personally, I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Gotcha. Once Colt McCoy said he had an extra 20, if I would have won that battle, I'd have gave him the 20. And I'd keep the 100. That's how it would have went. But like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all or cover up for him. Like, that nigga ain't giving me no money. <laughs> oh, not at all. Jason no, no, no. No, oh, don't think that nigga broke bread with a nigga. Nah, nah. So, in these tours, so. This ain't no beachy, rum nitty situation type, you know. This was like, this tournament was for a women take all type situation. Bro, that nigga all that. <laughs> JC. But like, I don't, don't get it wrong. I don't yeah. feel no type of way. Gotcha. To find out that JC ain't really give Swamp any money. And in fairness to Swamp, he's not online crying about it. You know, Knowledge actually brought it up in an interview and then Swamp just kept it real and was like, nah. JC ain't paid me shit. He was like, I'm not expecting him to. He don't have to. But nah, like, don't don't let him think he gave me some money. He ain't give me no, no damn money. And some of it's just PR. Like, it's just good. It just sound good to say, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to make sure my dog swap, get some money, <laughs> get back on that plane, get back to uh, get back to Michigan and be like, man, the hell with that. But um, I actually do hope Swamp gets something. I, I, I do hope, hope he do. And I feel like. JC don't owe him nothing, and just because Rum Nitty and Geechee split, JC does not have to split no money. Some of these niggas need to be winning 100000 and saying, it's my money, it is what it is, I, I went through the tournament, that's it. It may take two people who don't like each other to make it to the finals before they just be like, I ain't splitting nothing. But, um, yeah, JC don't own him. But if you going to say, I'm going to take care of him, you might as well take care of him. You know what I'm saying? In life, all you got is your word. You might as well take care of him, at least send him something. And I think Swamp speaking out on it, I think it's getting a little bit of rounds now. You know what I'm saying? That interview will probably do a little bit of numbers. Excuse me. And then people will get back and be like, yo, nigga saying you ain't paid Swamp. And they both on Summer Madness. JC and Surf, Swamp and Tay Rock. Maybe JC says, yo, here go $2,000, $2,500, five grand or whatever for your time. That'd be dope. You know what I'm saying? Because... And in fairness to JC, let me say this. He probably, all right, 100,000 is probably tax. So he probably got like 70 racks. And it probably came in a check. You know what I'm saying? From either URL or caffeine. And then you got 20,000 cash. So you probably got about 90 to $100,000 that you actually got. And that's if URL has even paid you yet. I don't know how that works. I don't know how long it takes for them to give you a check or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? So you don't. You, it's not like you got the whole 120. You know that. You know that 100,000 got to be taxed. So from there, yeah, you could you could break you could break them all. It don't even got to be nothing crazy. I mean, shit, you gotta be appreciative of what I give you. And then I might just give you a rack. You know what I'm saying? For your time, I might give you 2,500. You can go on a shopping spree or something. I gave you something. At the end of the day, it don't have to be nothing crazy. But I do think since he said it, he put his foot in his mouth. He should own it at the end of the day. So the question to y'all is: Should JC? Does JC, well, we already know he don't have to. He's a free country. He ain't got to do shit. So the question ain't, do we have to pay? But should JC pay Swamp? If you was in JC's position, would you say the hell with that and keep it moving? Would you pay Swamp? Is JC wrong for not paying Swamp any money? Y'all let me know, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. 
We got the riot going down this weekend, man. Make sure you, if you are in the Atlanta area, man, for Labor Day weekend, man, try to support, you know what I'm saying? A lot of dope battles. A Ward and Run Nitty is on the car. Snake Eyes and Clean Paper is on the car. Who else is on Real Name Brandon? And uh, somebody's at Fonz. Real Name Brandon and Fonz. Um, but there is no swamp and there is no Chef Trez, man. I'm a little disappointed in this whole situation at this battle. This battle is a South battle right here. You know what I'm saying? I saw the interview where Swamp was like, he want to focus on the rock battle. We're going to wait on that Chef Trez. Okay, okay. I'm going to lock in the Tolly on K Rock. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to reach out to Chef Trez, but I'm going to reach out to him. Two other outlets and shit. We're going to get it right. Okay, okay, okay. But like, yeah, I got to focus. It's some of Okay. Yeah, you need all them days. Like, <laughs> nah, seriously, because at, at this point, is there any like you know? I gotta ask, like, as far as the Chef Trust joint, is there any like backlash from that or any like or y'all nah, good? Nah, like, to be honest, them that's the battle everybody wants to see. Of course. So like, that don't matter. It, as long as it go down at some point. Gotcha. But like, Chef Trez a real nigga. Before Battle Rap, Chef Trez is a real nigga, so like he understand what's going on and like how this shit operate and maneuver and like, you know, he, he gonna, he, I already know, like I said, I gotta reach out to him because I was trying to, but I already know what type of thing he's gonna be on, so he's a real nigga, but he know how this shit goes. Nah, nah. So it, it prompted a lot of questions on did URL block the battle, and I got mixed feelings about this on whether or not they blocked the battle. I feel like... First of all, this is like RBE or something. It'll be blocked. You know what I'm saying? This is RBE, King of the Dot, or another league. You know what I'm saying? It'll be blocked. I think their relationship with Geechee, they ain't going to strong arm the battle like that. But do I think URL could have called Swamp? Like, yo, you sure you want to take Chef Trez before the 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 uh, the Rock battle? I think it's too coincidence that Tay Rock would do an interview saying, I don't know if Swamp would get that call because he took Chef Trez. That's basically saying, because you took, I mean, I know he was trying to say like, he may lose to Chef Trez, so URL may not want to book him for the for the battle. But I didn't really get that from that. In my mind, I kind of got it like, yo, you really took Chef Trez when we trying to give you rock. I took it more like that. So I think it, the fact that, that Tay Rock did that interview and the fact that this battle was off, I think it's too much a coincidence, bro. And I really feel like they may not have strong on the battle out of respect for Geechee, but I do feel like they could be like, yo, Swamp, you sure you want to take this battle? You know what I'm saying? We want to offer you the rock battle, but we really don't want you to do the, the Chef Trez battle. Yeah. So, yeah, I do feel like Swamp need more time than that because he's been kind of stumbling and choking a little bit in his rounds. He ain't, his rounds ain't been as clean. So I'm not mad at Swamp's decision, but to think that URL don't have no involvement, I think would be a little bit naive, to be honest with you. I think the respect out of Geechee, they probably kept it kind of cool, but yeah, they probably put a phone call in, most definitely. And let's be honest, I don't really think they like Chef Trez that much. I did see a tweet where he put out that he wouldn't mind being back on URL or have URL call me or something, but when Chef Trez left URL, I, you know, obviously I was locked up when he wasn't really battling on it no more, so I don't really know exactly what happened. When I got out, I started hearing things, you know, I live in Atlanta, he live in Atlanta, so you kind of talk to people in the battle rap community, and he battled Shotgun Suge, and then he really wasn't getting no, I guess, main stage looks like that. So, you know, Chef Trez obviously has, like, some health conditions and stuff like that. So certain things about Trez need to be in order from living arrangements to flight arrangements to matchups and this. And sometimes it's just a respect level because I got him beating Shotgun Shug, and that's, like, his last big battle before he kind of got off URL. So, you know, he kind of could, probably could have felt like he wasn't getting respected or getting, you know, was getting shelved or whatever. And... You know, for a while, he was acting like he only wanted to battle on small leagues. Like, he didn't want to deal with the big leagues crap or whatever. But he still was willing to battle on RBE. He's been battling on RBE lately. And I think for that, they don't want to bring him back over there. You know, and I don't, and I don't know if Trez is willing to sign a contract or something. But they don't want to bring him back over and still let him battle on RBE. So, you have that whole little thing going on right there. Trez has been, he been battling a lot. Y'all may not be seeing him on URL. He actually battles a lot, bro. Trez seems like he have a battle at least every other weekend, it seems like. It's like, bro, I get flyers sent to me so much. I look up and Chef Trez is on the flyer. I'm like, yo, this, this thing a battle everywhere. But 
a lot of his battles, they just don't go down. And I, it don't be no coincidence to me, bro. He was supposed to battle Emerson Kennedy. Blocked. Swamp. Some of this to me feels like it's a Trez issue as well. Like, we don't rock with you, so we're not going to even allow you to grow because we're not going to allow you to even battle, battle our battles. So we're going to try to put a phone call in, you know, or whatever and see if we can get that, <clears throat> get that stopped too. So, you know, bro, I just seen a lot. It's a lot I never spoke about on this camera out of respect for URL and my relationship with them over the years. But it was a lot of stuff that was done that I kind of felt like, Yo, y'all don't need to do that. Like, y'all the number one league in battle rap. You don't have to block no battles. You don't have to do that. Just just do do you at the end of the day. But there is a little bit of pettiness that go on, and people just don't be wanting to, you know, they try to monopolize the game. And I'm not mad at that part. This, this is my stance on it. I'm not mad at contracts. I'm not really mad at block battles. And I'm not mad at you trying to monopolize the game. You know what I'm saying? I got a trucking business. If I feel like I can clean this building cheaper than you, I'm going to try to get you up out of here. Like, yo, how, how much does he charge to clean this building? $600? All right, I'll do it for $550. i am trying to get your contract out of here and get my contract in, monopolizing the situation. You will lose that contract. Now you got to figure out a way to make up that $600 with another building. So I'm not concerned with your well-being or what you're going to do or your livelihood. I'm trying to get me my $550 and get me in there. That is how business is. It's cutthroat. I'm not mad at that. The only problem I be having sometimes with the way URL be playing it is that you just got to own your shit. Just own it. Just be like, I ain't letting that nigga battle on RBE. That's the one thing I did. Say what you want about Nords. Nords will flat out do an interview and say, yeah, I blocked the battle. You know what I'm saying? He's on the contract. I'm not letting him battle on RBE. Like, he just, they just blocked it. URL was doing a lot of blocking. And, you know, I don't know if... if if you go way back in battle rap, you remember like the first time U Dub booked chess. They booked chess on, on U Dub. It was blocked by URL. URL blocked chess battling on U Dub. The blocks have been real matumble like over the years. And a lot of times you just have to own it. And sometimes it's just not a block. Sometimes it's just paying people not to do battles and doing different stuff. ARP is addressing a lot of that stuff on its platform. But these things that happen don't act like. Don't act like it didn't happen. Just be like, yo, this is what I'm doing. Like, I'm, I'm strong arming this situation. I ain't trying to let you. I ain't trying to let these niggas eat. I'm strong arming this situation. Just own it. If you own it, I can always respect it because you just already letting it know what it is. So, I feel like for me that, that that's the main issue. But I think out of respect for Geesey, I don't really think they blocked the battle. But I do feel like they probably had a conversation with Swamp. Like, yo, I don't think you should do the do the uh, Chef Trez battle. And so he probably listened to that Tay Rock interview and listened to like a nigga like P or one of them call him and then sat back and thought, hmm, maybe I shouldn't because I ain't going to lie. He was going to have a hard time beating Chef Trez down here. Chef Trez to me is more talented than him in terms of like his rebuttals and everything. He was like, it ain't easy to win in Atlanta, bro. Chef Trez got a lot of love down here to come down. I know Carolina is right next to Atlanta, but to come down here, Whereas Trez can have hella niggas in here to support him from his spit day eating bullpen days to come down here and actually beat Chef Trez in Atlanta would be actually pretty hard to do. So there was a, definitely a chance he could have lost that battle. Definitely a chance. And I do feel like Swamp need to, need to uh, you know, he need to make sure he prepare, man. He be stumbling and stuff like that. Chris, I'm biased. Holla at your boy. You too, he's a certain last 